In this video, we'll talk about the user profile system of the controller. With this function, we can import the external profile, create the user profile, or edit the profile. So first, we press the key, Setup. Then, select the option, Manage Fixture Library. First of all, we will introduce how to load the external file. The console accepts the external file in D4 or 20 format. We should first have these profiles and then put them into the USB disk. Then connect the USB disk to the console. Then select the option Import from external file. The window will list all the files in the USB disk. We can select the options at the bottom left to display only the files in D4 or 20 format. Then we select the needed file and select the option Import Selected. Now, we can find the selected profile has been loaded. If we want to create a profile on the console directly, we can only make one with basic functions. If you need to make the profile with more features, such as the profile coming with preset or macro functions, please write the external file on the PC, then import it to the console. Now let's start to create a new profile. For example, here is a channel traits of the profile we are going to create. First, we should select Add New Fixture. In the pop up dialog, we should fill in the basic information of the fixture. First, we can input the fixture name. So we can call out the keyboard. Then, I input the letters B S W 300. Enter. And for the manufacturer name. For example, we input code. And we can see there are 16 channels in all. So, for the DMX channels option, we input 16. The color mix mode allows us to select whether the fixture with the RGB or CMY channels. According to the list of channel trait, we select the CMY option, then confirm. So now, we can find there are 16 empty channels are listed here. At the meanwhile, we can notice that this part of each channel is highlighted. It means they have repeated settings. But because we are newly creating a profile, we can just ignore the highlight indication first. Then, we start to set the channels one by one. We select the first channel. Then select the option, Channels Attribute. In the pop-up window, we should first select the attribute. The names in the drop down menu corresponding to the attribute keys on the panel. From the channel trait, the first channel is pan. Then we can select the position. About the channel name, we can open this option and select the needed name. Besides, we can also call out the keyboard and enter the needed name directly. The next option, DMX channel, is showing the channel number you are setting, and the find is for setting the 16-bit channel if it has. According to the list of channel trait, we can see the second channel is pan fine. So we can set it as 2 here. This option is for setting the page of the attribute. And the control wheel can be assigned by this option. For example for the pan, we can set it to use wheel C. Here is for us to set the locate value. We can set the locate value of pan to 127. This option, channel value, allows us to set the channel functions. We will introduce this function later in other channels. Now, for the pan, we just press 
confirm to finish it. However, we can see that the first column of row 1 and row 2 is highlighted. This means there are repeated settings. But since we have set channel 2 as the fine part of channel 1, then we can select row 2 and select the option, delete a channel. Next, let's continue setting the channels and finish all of them. Now we have finished setting up all 16 channels. Next, I will introduce how to make the channel function. For example, I select the color channel. Then select channel attribute. We will set this option, channel value. So we press the option. Then, we select the first row and press edit. In the pop-up dialog, we can call out the keyboard to enter the function name. According to the channel trait, the first function is white. Then, we can input white. And the function value is from 0 to 25. Then we can set the option DMX from to 0 and the option to to 25 then confirm. Now, the first channel function is finished. We tap on the blank position and press Add again, then select the new added row and press Edit. Set the function name as Red. And the values are from 26 to 51. Then we can finish all the functions of this channel in the same way. As the example, we just stop here, then confirm. After finishing setting up the profile, we just press return, then confirm the save. Next, I would like to introduce how to modify the system profile. Select manage fixture library. Then, we select the option import from internal library. In the pop-up window, we can select the manufacturing here. For example, I select one of them. So the fixtures from this manufacturer are listed in the middle. We can roll the scroll bar to look for the model needed. For example, I select this one. Then, the channel traits of this model will be listed here. If you want to select this profile, press Confirm. So now, the selected profile is here. For example, I want to modify the locate value of shutter channel. Then I can select it and press Channels Attribute and select the option Locate Value Set. For example, I change it to 139, then confirm. So we can see the locate value has been changed. 
then we just press return and confirm to save the changes. These are the functions of user profile system.